Roswell Flight Test Crew here. Today we're going to be field testing the Anafi from Parrot. To see our unboxing and setup, be sure to check out our previous video. And to keep up with the latest on drones, be sure to click subscribe. So before you fly the Anafi for the first time, you're going to want to calibrate the compass. In fact, it's not going to let you fly until you do. Now this is an important step because compass calibration allows the drone to account for local variations in the Earth's magnetic field. To make sure you get a good clean result, remove any metal objects from your person and stand away from metal objects in the environment and then just follow the on-screen prompts. To take off, press the auto take off auto land button. The motors will spin up and the drone will come to a hover and then you can start flying. So the first thing I notice is that the Anafi is whisper quiet. Once it gets more than a few feet away from you, you really can't discern it from the background noise. Now the GPS position hold, as you can see, is pretty good so long as you're in still air. Now the Anafi is pretty lightweight, so if you do get some wind, it does tend to get pushed around a little bit. However, it's still plenty good enough for you to rely on it. Now in the default film mode, the Anafi is agonizingly slow, especially in the yaw axis. I mean, it's kind of like you're watching the moon rise. If you squint and you concentrate really hard, you can almost see it moving. I mean, it's that slow. I almost thought there was something wrong with it. Uh, but that said, this isn't necessarily a bad thing if you're actually filming. Here, I'll give it a full yaw input so you can see that footage. And that's, that's not an unreasonable rate of pan if you're capturing video. So we'll go ahead and change over to what Parrot calls sport mode here. And it's definitely faster, but I wouldn't go so far as to actually call it fast. One thing I noticed in the app, though, is that you can go in and change individual aircraft performance settings, even while the drone's flying. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these all up to maximum, and we'll see what the result is there. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now you can really move. All right, excellent, excellent. And to give you a sense for how these three work, we'll go ahead and do an aerial drag race with film mode on top, the default sport mode in the middle, and everything cranked up to maximum on the bottom. So one of the great things about the Anafi is that you're able to recharge the batteries from any USB power source. And so that opens up real potential for recharging in the field, because these days basically every car comes with a couple of USB ports in it. So now, let's take a look at the Anafi's camera. Here's some footage straight from the aircraft. Now this gimbal has a couple of unique characteristics. First of all, it's able to tilt for a full 180 degrees from zenith down to nadir. Now obviously, the ability to point the camera directly upward opens up some interesting artistic possibilities, but I think it could also have some serious real-world applications, like say inspecting the underside of bridges. Second, this is a two-axis gimbal and the camera relies on digital stabilization to hold the image steady in the yaw axis. Now normally, I'd be really skeptical of this approach. However, the Parrot Bebop 2 used the same general idea and it delivered stable video even though there wasn't a mechanical gimbal on the aircraft. So it actually seems to work pretty well. Another advantage to having this oversized sensor to allow for digital stabilization is it gives you the capability to do a lossless digital zoom. Now how much you can zoom before you start losing data depends on what format you're capturing in. So a couple more things to be aware of with the camera. The first one is that by default, it starts recording every time you take off, so be aware of that. The second thing to know is that it comes from the factory set to record 4K video. 
and it only comes with a 16 gigabyte card installed, so it's gonna rip through that storage space pretty quickly if it's recording 4K. So next up, we have our gimbal torture test. So you can see how good a job the gimbal does at stabilizing the image, and keep a particular eye open to see how it responds to yaw inputs. Finally, here's our flight endurance test. The Anafi came out on top of our recent flight time throwdown, which pitted it against a number of other recent drones, so check out how it does. So that was our look at the Anafi from Parrot. I really like this little drone. It's got a lot of unique features, and I hope Parrot will consider building a larger, more robust version. To keep up with the latest on drones, be sure to click subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Fly safe.